Hello Marvel Heroes fans, this is a very popular video request, Captain America and uh, you know, sometimes I ask myself why haven't I played him all this while because he is so strong so what I'll do is that uh, I think while I'm playing playing um, you know this terminal I'll just explain what happens so rather than uh, you know uh, stay in the training room for like uh, you know um, 15 minutes or so okay so um, Captain America is actually a very strong hero um, just pay attention to how his shield works right I think it's, it's beautiful the way that his shield moves right you know how it bounces off different kind of like uh, mobs, and if there are like uh, two mobs in say uh, Industrial City Patrol, it, it will actually you know it's wonderful to see how they bounce off between the two bosses. And um, I mean, I really really like Captain America when it comes to his shield and all. Uh, his shield is almost like another weapon on its own. And now I'm facing the boss, okay, and uh, just do a shield, and then his signature is the one on the stars above, and. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's pretty strong here. Um, it's taking a while, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, normally it's taking really fast to kill off any boss here. Maybe I was a little bit distracted. Um, he, he does remind me of the, uh, you know, in, in World of Warcraft, one of my very favorite. Oh, I throw the shield in different places. One, one of my favorite uh, class back in World of Warcraft day was uh, Paladin. and. He, he does uh, remind me of Paladin a lot because of his shield, the way that he can, he can uh, uh, you know, the shield bounce around and, you know, it's like a tank and so on. Uh, I really enjoyed it when I first played him uh, back in, I think, uh, one, one, two years ago. Um, but the problem is that when he, when he, you know, before his reveal, he wasn't that great. So, yeah, I, I mean, I must say I was kind of like disappointed. Um, that you know he he couldn't really last in uh, cosmic terminal and so on. But now I mean look at him, he's like uh, wow. He he just <laughs> you know I play a lot of heroes yeah, and uh, I haven't really seen any hero as strong as he. And, and now look at my gear right. I'm having like um, twenty five thousand health, and I'm not even gearing for health. Uh, this is my DPS gear. Um, and, and even my artifacts, I'm not really doing a lot on health as well. Let me show you my artifacts here. So um, the, the, in, the medallion I'm using, the Grim Reaper, because by my calculation, based on what I have today in my stash, it's running lower and lower. Uh, that's the best I can give to, uh, to him uh, compared to other uh, medallion. Later, I'll show you the numbers. Um, none of these really give you a lot of uh, health, only this one perhaps. I don't really have, uh, okay, this ring has some health, but, um, you know, I mean, this is my core, which is very much on the um, crit damage rating. I do have one that is a pure health, it's for the Industrial City Patrol or Midtown Patrol Cosmic version, uh, that give my health up to, say, uh, 31,000. Uh, but even with 25,000, I'm very comfortable in moving around. So, uh, playing Captain America, there's something called Serum, uh, which is a new resource being created for him. And the, uh, you know some some power consume serum, some re uh, some regenerate serum, and if your serum is high for certain power, it does more damage and so on. Uh, but the good thing about Captain America is that you don't really need to worry too much about the um, the second uh, power se uh, second resource because you know if you have it, you have it. You know there's nothing you have to do very specially for for this sort of like um, uh, scenario. All right, and uh, I mean here's his airborne assault, which is a um, it's pretty hits pretty hard from from afar, and the short the cooldown is pretty short as well. I'm using the uh, talk shield throw. I'll show you a number as well later on. Uh, it is actually I mean it hits pretty hard. Two hits for hundred ninety thousand, and with the four second cooldown, that is that's pretty pretty great. And the shield bounce, I love it. Uh, I love it because in I'm using it together with the. Um, with the shield expertise, I turn the toggle off so that I have the uh, bleed damage, you know. And the reason why I want the bleed is that uh, in, in my hero synergy, I actually take X23, which has extra damage versus bleeding. I, I hope that really synergizes it. I think it does. Uh, so that is the one that I use. And then, you know, the meteor kick is more like a. I like it for the execute function. It does hit really hard as well uh, for area damage. Uh, also, another 200,000 K and plus. Uh, whatever that uh, you know execute component to it uh, so yeah and his signature is a star sparkle strike uh, I love it because it um, 
it, it doesn't really have a lot of animation to it, unlike other uh, other you know signature that you may see. So you just need to, you know uh, go in, and usually things just die. Um, not that I miss the mark, it's just that things just die, move around, and so on. So yeah. So I'm going into the second boss here, and the uh, where is the boss? I'm trying to get the boss here. Okay, so it's here. One, two, then throw the shield, then signature. All right, then uh, uh, well, yeah, I think it's dead. So uh, it's it's really fast if you pay attention to what what you're doing. Uh, I you know I look at his number right. Um, I I don't think I I mean. Okay, I mean he has some good gear like this one here, but you know I don't have German curse or any other stuff that um, you know people usually use. Uh, I, I my crit is running at about fifty five point four percent. Bruto is fifty seven point one percent. Both are quite nice numbers. Uh, crit damage rating two hundred eighty five. Bruto damage rating about uh, five hundred thirty four. Uh, so on on the crit, they good. Uh, on the physical side, though, I mean you know um, on the physical damage plus the melee is about. Uh, 267% bonus, so all in all it's 367%, not even 400%, so um, so I mean, looking at the raw number, it's alright, it's not that remarkable, uh, I've, I've seen much higher like the um, uh, Punisher that I have arranged, uh, but I mean, you know, you look at this, um, I don't know, I mean, I, why haven't I discovered... <laughs> Captain America earlier. I mean, you know, I think all of you should just drop what you're doing and just play Captain America. I mean, you know, he is wonderful. Hmm? Uh, okay, two two bounty. I think I'm good to go. Uh, facing Modok, and the uh, I just go directly in Modok, right? So, so I do a leap in. Then after that, uh, oh, he has run away. Great. Let's do it again. Uh, in then shield, shield signature. And I go in again, and the uh, okay, taking a while, but that's fine. All right, so yeah, I mean, it's nothing really exciting on this fight. Um, well, but I, I mean, he has a lot of burst damage. If if that was a crit uh, when I do the uh, star sparkle strike or you know the airborne, I sort the boss down really fast, really really fast. So um, so yeah, uh, Captain America is great. Uh, I'm going to just talk a little bit about the uh, the build and so on. Uh, so this is more like a like a gameplay video on the, how he is like, and I'll probably show you two more clips on the uh, earlier on. I recorded something during uh, in, in the Cosmic Patrol. Now uh, in in the Cosmic Patrol, I'm going to show you. I'm using a um, health core. Uh, I don't really have a nice core. I mentioned it later on. Um, I, do, I, I wish there was an uh, invulnerable um, kind of like bubble on me um, as well as the 25-25 uh, it recover health a lot faster I don't need the spirit um, but I mean you know, so far it seems quite okay uh, using this core uh, so yeah I mean uh, let, let's just jump to the Cosmic uh, Patrol alright alright Captain America in uh, Cosmic Patrol and oops <laughs> I'm trying not to die here um, yeah, I mean, the, I'm using a health gear right now, but I don't really think I need to. Uh, but so far, Captain America is in a pretty, pretty nice, um, I would say. Alright, and the, uh, I mean, okay, oh, run away a bit. Yeah, I, I haven't really got a nice call uh, for Captain America's uh, defense yet. Uh, but that would be very nice if I have one. Um, so this is uh, okay. Trying to die here, All right? And uh, I I kind of enjoy Captain America's simplicity. Uh, after playing Jean Grey, that could get quite um, involving in terms of managing her cooldown or damage over time. And it's nice to have this. Um, change in pace, I would say. So, so far so good, uh, you see. Uh, not much um, danger or as long as you focus and get behind him instead of uh, going in front of him, then you're fine. Um, the rest is meant to cool down, just get out a little bit. And, all right. and playing with me here, as always, is my wife, um, Sing Hub. Right. Okay, signature. And uh, yeah, I think I could have used the other gear, which um, which is probably better in terms of DPS wise. Uh, but it's always a bit nice to be to feel a little bit safe in this kind of um, petrol environment because it can get really hard 
and uh, sometimes you don't know what's going to hit you. All right. So, all right, uh, right. So far, so good. Not taking any damage uh, so far, and uh, I mean that's supposed the way it is. Just to, yeah. So that is uh, Captain America in Cosmic Patrol using health gear, with my wife of course. So this is Captain America in a very uh, messy boss uh, wave, and uh, okay, of course, if uh, you don't mind, I'm going to use my signature. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, I mean ultimate. Okay, so the ultimate here, it looks pretty nice. Just have to beam it the right way uh, for a while. So, okay, so that is signature is up, and this is going to be one of the harder uh, content. I don't have a nice or core yet, so, and I have to uh, pull out what, all that I can to, uh, to get this done, alright? So this is very exciting for me. This, uh, because it hurt quite a lot. I don't have a core that uh, return health in a massive amount, so I have to um, uh, I have to make do with whatever I have. All right, so I have to get out whenever there is a. Um, I mean, these are really really hard for melee, but uh, I mean it's also very rewarding because it's so exciting playing melee in this kind of like a very very hard scenario. All right, so one two signature shield whatnot. Some guy is dead. Should I arrest him? Maybe I should get my hero up. Okay, Wolverine, I'm here for you. Okay, uh, let me just uh, see. <laughs> Clear the map first. I don't even know what what's happening. Wow, there's a lot of loot. So yeah, I mean, uh, I think the Avenger has assembled. And the, uh, okay, try not to get charged by Kingpin, which I did, I think. I, uh, sometimes I get stuck because there's so many things on the ground. I just, uh, okay, Hood is there, Kingpin is there, and I think, um, let me get out and uh, clear the, the room a little bit. Where where is the boss? Okay, find the one. So yeah, I mean uh, this is a very short bit, short clip on the uh, cosmic patrol uh, with my wife uh, Hulk and the um, and a very very exciting boss uh, pack. All right, all right. Welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed some of this in-game uh, video on how Captain America plays like. And uh, if you enjoy what you've seen, uh, stick around for his build gear option, rotation, and Omega system, so on and so forth. All right, so the first thing I would like to talk about is his build. Um, like my recent video, I started to look into um, the raw number behind the, the design of the hero. Uh, by using a, a RAN 20 power, uh, without gear, without uh, synergy, and uh, without Omega point, just to see how, from a game design perspective, uh, each power is supposed to be like. So what I've done is that I, I picked those as the highest potential and I try to att attempt to connect them together. And I think I found a build that is really fun and easy to play. And um, you know, I let me start with this uh, Vibranium Bash because that is something that um, I think, um, you know, you should use it as a single spender. I know it costs some spirit, uh, but I mean, his signature kind of refuel the whole entire spirit. So, you know, I could actually do it without any of those uh, uh, mad kit core to return spirit to sustain this uh, this build. So, uh, I, I think you should consider using this as the uh, as the main spender. The this one hits really hard. Alternatively, you could have uh, shield shield strike. Um, the the difference between the two of them is that uh, for vibranium brash bash, you it generates serum as it hits. Uh, but for the shield strike, you have to rely on the uh, incoming damage. Um, so it, it is useful when you do a lot of solo. But um, you know, if, if the mobs are not hitting you, then you will not get all this serum generation. So uh, both are hitting us hard, um, but I prefer the other one instead. All right. Uh, Meteor Kick is it hits pretty hard as well with all my gear back on. Uh, the cooldown is four seconds, very nice because either four seconds, six or eight seconds. So. You know, I, I like the design of uh, Captain America, unlike some other hero that you have to keep thinking about what are all the numbers, like how many seconds has been up, so you don't need to. Uh, Meteor Kick is whenever the, you know, uh, the cooldown is off, just use it. It hit harder and harder uh, because it has an execute function, so I really, really like this one uh, because of execute. All right? And also if you have uh, extra serum, it, it hit uh, double hard as well. But normally you will not run into some uh, serum problem because you know, as you are using the uh, um, the bash, then you you will have the serum generator anyway. All right. Uh, then 
I I max out this uh, patriotic soldier um, because um, it has the health regen as well as maximum health as well as, well as the damage negated and so on. So these are pretty good stuff to use. Uh, I don't use it as an active effect, but I think it's a very strong uh, passive, especially if you intend to bring Captain America onto the uh, Cosmic Patrol, which kind of like could be quite punishing, right? Uh, so that is one. Uh, on the left, it's nice because it gets you to places uh, pretty fast. I wish he has a bike though. I mean, look at his movie. I think he was on a bike, was he? I'm not quite sure. Maybe there was Black Widow. Anyway, uh, then I have the Finest Hour, which is the crowd, uh, crowd Control Breaker. I seldom use it, so I map it to F2 key. Uh, his signature is fantastic. I mean, this one you have to max it. Um, hits really hard as well with my gear, so 20 points into it. Um, just one point in the indestructible shield. I use it though um, as, as one of my emergency, just pop it like a shield if I know that there's an incoming damage and uh, I would like to just stand on it. So that is something useful. Um, now, show you or shall use the talk shield flow? Um, you have two options here, right? Either this one or the uh, shield holes. Um, I prefer to have this one uh, because um, I look at a number, also the cooldown and the... Uh, I mean, it works very nice for melee because it's just around you. Uh, and it hit, hit really hard right, if, if you put back all the gear. So I pick this one uh, as my cooldown layer. All right, so uh, shield bounce. Uh, shield bounce is... Um, it's beautiful. I mean, the, you've seen how the whole thing goes. I think the, the entire Captain America, for me, the, the gameplay is, I love this power a lot, the, seeing the shield, how it travels. And, and the thing is that you have to think, right? Because if the shield is off, you can't do shield, uh, talk shield throw. So there's a so-called priority system here. You have, to use, you have to do a talk shield throw first and then do a shield, uh, shield, shield uh, bounce because once the shield is gone, then you have to wait for could could take a while for the shield to come back to you and uh, while this one is off the cooldown you can't do anything so um, I like this spell, this aspect of the game where I have to think whether I should throw it when should I throw the shield that is also the, the very interesting question and sometimes when you have the ice uh, industrial city patrol when there's only two bosses around uh, like uh, Kirigi and Elektra and you throw a shield and then the shield just keep bouncing between them it's beautiful the way it it. But the reason why I really picked up this uh, shield bounce is because of this, all right? The shield expertise. I leave the toggle off, like I mentioned before, uh, because I want the bleed to sink in. Uh, the bleed is very nice because it has um, uh, uh, damage over time to it. Uh, with my gear on, it's actually quite quite impressive here. Consider, consider the fact that you are doing nothing. Uh, just let the shield that is work. Uh, you have two options, either this one or the other one, the shield toes. Uh, but like I said to you, I, I prefer this one better than shield toes. So, you know, why? I think it's more like the, you know, you have to just uh, think about these two, uh, consider about these two. But I like the way that shield bounce kind of like hit more targets. Uh, so, even for single target, um, you know, I, I use this one, but I don't use it whenever it's back to me, the shield is back to me. I only use it to apply every eight second. And it actually is a lot easier than you think because, you know, this guy has a four second cooldown. So every two, twice I've done this, I do a shield bounce to, to get the uh, damage over time going. All right. So there's not a lot of thinking behind. Uh, every two of them, you do one of, do one of this. All right. Um, do I toggle it on or off? All right, if I toggle it off, my shield bounce will have a cooldown to it. Uh, but I don't need uh, to be tied down because I would like to be able to use a shield bounce any time that I feel there's a need to when I see there's like mobs around me and I say, oh, okay, maybe now I should switch off from my, switch uh, away from my single target eight second um, kind of like rotation back to whenever there is a you know, cooldown, I throw a shield out. So that is beautiful. Uh, I, I never leave it on, uh, but it, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. So anyway, uh, the airborne assault is, uh, the way that it hits is really great and it has a vulnerability uh, uh, application to it as well. Uh, use it whenever it's on cooldown because it hit like a truck, all right? So that is on the, um, on the build itself and as for the Omega system, uh, as always, 10 points here. Uh, by the way, if your Omega uh, points is not as high, um, if you're still starting to play a, play a game, uh, check out my the other video on the allocating Omega points by cost um, escalation. And, and sometimes you don't need to put 10, you just put a, like, you know, uh, a portion of it. So don't need to go too deep uh, as what I suggest here, right? So uh, by the way, that, that one was the spin tag. Uh, 
all on the uh, versus boss. Then you have the uh, nowadays I, I enjoy having forever compound as well as serum SO2 just for a little bit of health, a little bit of health regen. Uh, so three points here, six points here, and the. Um, I don't have enough points to expand on this one, but that's fine. So I've uh, I picked five of this one instead. Um, so five plus five physical damage is more than plus one strength. So that is great. And this is the plus five strength that I get from this uh, Omega tree. Um, I picked this one as well for my crit and my brutal. I'm uh, more for my brutal though because my crit is pretty high already as um, as Captain America. Uh, this one I now this I like this one because uh, it gives me the help. But you know if you don't like your character to be you know over expanded because I like it to, to be a little bit bigger to see what I'm doing as melee on a, a patrol environment because it can tends to be quite uh, overwhelming. So uh, but if you don't take this one, you could consider blob. Blob is another nice uh, nice note to get your health. Uh, relatively cheap with no cost escalation. All right, um, then the gives oppression always for all the heroes I have get the extra um, the brutal strike as well as the uh, because he's a melee so I could get just a little bit of uh, melee crit as well as me um, uh, crit damage rating. Mm, not a lot, just a bit. All right, so five point there. Uh, nothing here, nothing here, and this is my favorite tree these days. Uh, nine points here uh, because beyond which is a little bit too expensive for me. I'm I'm targeting eighty percent cost uh, effectiveness. Um, four four points here is sufficient for me as well as this one is wonderful. I mean uh, I can create damage rating as I use uh, melee power. All right, so that's all I have. All right. Uh, in terms of hero synergy, I think the the one that's uh, you know good to talk about is X twenty three because it has the bleeding, four uh, percent against bleeding. So I believe the 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 toggle actually help with that. Uh, then because my Captain America does range as well as the melee, I'm sure some number later it actually split between the two quite nicely. Uh, so I pick Winter Soldier, Wolverine, no brainer, Squirrel Girl, She How is nice because of the. I mean there are many physical damage with three percent no right. So that I pick. Uh, Mr. Fantastic for the crit damage, uh, Moon Knight for the crit um, physical power, uh, power crit chance that is a must. Uh, Hot Eye for a little bit more crit damage, and the um, then Colossus uh, for the crit damage uh, cable for both the crit chance uh, two percent. All right, so that is all. Uh, from the gear perspective, uh, let me put back all my gears so I can talk a little bit more. Um, I understand there are other options for Captain America in terms of the uh, unique. I think this, um, but I, I prefer this set instead. So I prefer the Euro and uh, Enchance, uh, Enhanced Shield, uh, as well as some of these guys here, right? So all these are pretty, pretty all right, unique. And the, um, yeah, I mean this is a set unique. I'm using the ring wise. I mean, you know, I take whatever it is. I pick some generic, um, you know, uh, num ones that because I have range, I have melee and I'm physical, so yeah. Uh in terms of grade 70 legendary always uh, go near for non summoner. But if you are rich enough to have one thousand OD mark, just go for the X, alright? X is for physical. Uh, it's very good for Captain America. Don't pick anything else. Um no. Okay, so this one uh relax I, I don't need more health so you know um the crit damage rating is good enough for me. Okay, the rune word is a little bit embarrassing because I haven't really thought about what to give to him because he does both uh, melee and range, so I put this one. It's, it's not great, but you know, you've seen he's doing pretty well even with such an um, you know, average uh, rune word. But I would suggest if you really like your Captain America, go for the, um, not the melee one, uh, go for the, um, the low key one, the God of Mischief. If you really, really like your Captain America, I think that is the only one that you should um, think of. Um, other than that, because he does both range and melee, it's kind of hard to to get a nice rune word anyway. Uh, so and I don't need extra health and defense or whatnot. So this one works quite okay for me. Uh, but I, I know that I'm losing out quite a fair bit of DPS without it. All right. Uh, in terms of um, um, artifacts, I think meta sensory is the uh, is a norm. Then the crystal is also a norm for any physical damage uh, hero. Um, and the uh, like I mentioned, I use Grim Reaper because I use what I have. I'll show you some spreadsheet later. As well as the uh, for this one is a cigarette and the, uh, the uh, this one is a very nice one. All right, so um, I I use it for for the hero that I love. All right, so I, I hope that gives you an idea of how, how Captain America is like uh, from a build perspective. And uh, just to work out rotation, you just need to do an airborne assault, uh, jump in, all right, so apply the vulnerability. And after that, do a, do a talk, all right, talk shield throw, and then apply the, uh, 
the shield bounce and uh, you don't need to keep doing it and yeah, then after that uh, do the kick the kick will give me the um, the um, the execute function to it and then after that uh, if at the beginning of the fight you 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 let me just get some of this uh, then you you just do a do a signature to it uh, and that's it the whole cycle just repeats itself very nice so I think in short just to uh, just perhaps to you know uh, just show you how you do it just like one two three four and then signature and then again jump in and I mean you know and you don't need to do the uh, the uh, shield again then after the shield bounce because it's a second cycle so that's the only complexity you have uh, I could hardly call it a complexity right so so yeah, uh, but I mean, you know, he, he's really fun to play. I really enjoyed playing him. A little bit of management on the cooldown, but I don't think that is, uh, that's too hard, uh, really. All right, so uh, for those who like to stick around, the next bit is about the mathematics behind some of this power that I choose and the medallion and so on. Just a little bit sharing there, all right? Okay, let's look into some numbers uh, when it comes to Captain America. So um, the one that I would like to show you is that uh, this is all the rank 20 without gear, without Omega system or the um, hero synergy. So if you look at the uh, Vibranium Dash, sorry, my apologies. Um, if you look at this one here, it actually does like 38,000. Uh, it's very comparable to Shield Strike, although Shield Strike actually hit faster, uh, but they deal less damage. So like I mentioned, this two, between these two, you know, I, I, I would prefer the other one because I need the generation of uh, serum pretty fast. So that is uh, that is easy decision between the two. Uh, then it's about the um, the shield toss and the uh, shield bounce. So uh, forget about all these like uh, multiple targets. I think just um, just look at this uh, single target ones. Um, but I, I guess I mean you know shield toss is also quite a good um, good um, good kind of like. Um, uh, you know, uh, you, you could consider that. It's just that um, it depends on the distance that you, you have, and you can't really use it as a range power in a sense. Um, you have to get close anyway, so may as well use the uh, the talk. I like to talk a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the media kick, I, I think you could, um, you know, less than 5 serum, more than 5 serum is about the, um, the the 19k as a layer to it. So these are layers. So instead of uh, damage over time, it does like, um, you know, uh, the cooldown is like a layer. Uh, so it's 19k, which is kind of nice. Um, then the uh, the signature on, on its own is so-so, but then the, it does buff. It does have a very nice buff as well to the... Um, to the to the rest of the power then the talk one is the one that i talk about here about the 18 uh, 19k so 19k and the uh, versus this one i mean so shield horse i mean it, it does give you a better better result in some sense but then you know um i mean some sometimes you have to find something that um uh that, that works like um, in, in, in a scenario whereby it's fun because you know uh, the talk is actually coming around it and uh, you, you don't you don't the shield doesn't leave you so you can quickly use a talk shield throw and after that use the shield bounce uh, but when once you toss the shield out then it's like you know mm, uh, I think I think this is more to, to do with uh, choosing between shield toss and the bounce itself all right uh, then you have the airborne assault that is uh, that is pretty nice as well. Mm, then the uh, if you have double damage, it's actually pretty high. So you can see a number itself, right? I mean, all this uh, four second cooldown, but one is pretty high. So this is of course a must to get. All right. Uh, then you could also think about the shield bounce um, with the eight second cooldown. Um, because you know you could turn you could turn the toggle on and the uh, and, and thus uh, get the double damage, but um, with the eight second cooldown. But if you are single hitting a single target, I mean it's pretty tiny anyway. So if I if I put out the gear, I look at Captain America Endgame. Um, I I could actually work out the DPS on several things. It does give you a story here. Like you look at the uh, vibranium uh, bash is two hundred thirty k damage uh, per second. Uh, that is that is pretty pretty much the highest that you can get from the whole thing, and then the second highest, of course, is the um, is the uh, airborne strike as well as the media kick when it's uh, you know half health and sorry media meteor kick at uh, fifty percent and beyond is is taking over as pretty high as well. Um, then I mean you know the top itself the top shield throw which is not that bad. I mean it's sitting at ninety four k, it's not that bad. I mean layer on top of that, all right. 
so all in all, the reason why I need to go through this one is that because I need to know the difference between my melee and range. Because as I as I pick any like uh, gear and so on, I need to know what kind of sacrifice I think I need to make. And uh, in the end, I mean the melee is actually taking about sixty seven percent. One two third of the damage come from melee. One third come from range. What does that mean? It means that I can't ignore range damage. I can't ignore that. So I can't really gear everything for melee. Uh, I'll lose our range. So, so that is the whole story on why I pick, how I pick my build. And then uh, later on, I did try to find out. You know, these are the the medallion I have. The cosmic medallion. As always, you know, uh, there's no point for me to work out the max because I can't farm the max. Uh, so I always work with what I have. And the beauty of being able to work it out myself is that I can I can go through a spreadsheet first rather than just some guesswork and say which one I should go for. So uh, some of you have seen it before. Basically, I just look into the uh, forget about the damage rating because that is being incorporated into your physical damage. So I look at the base damage, physical damage, physical damage rating, and then after that I look at both melee base as well as range base uh, to work out because uh, later on I need to split like when I look look at curse. Um, the, the buff is on the melee side, so I need to somehow find a way to uh, work into my spreadsheet to take that into consideration. Uh, and after that, I look into all the crit and so on component to it. Uh, like, like I mentioned before, damage average damage is a product between the normal damage versus the um, the crit component to it. So I work out what's the average damage uh, for, for, for Captain America without any medallion. And then after that, uh, I work through a number and realize that, okay, you know, uh, the best, of course, is still curse. Um, but uh, but since I can't really fully benefit from curse, I may as well look, use reserve this one for say Hulk instead because Hulk would have uh, you know gotten a lot more from the curse uh, you know than, than Captain America. So I in the end I it's a conscious decision. My Grim Reaper has a very uh, it, actually this 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 role is pretty terrible. Um, uh, but it still come up to be pretty close to what I have for curse. So I use this instead. Uh, you know uh, you could use a shocker um, and. and and Red Skull, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I do have Red Skull uh, medallion and a lot of people ask me, should I use Red Skull or not? So, um, I, I think it depends on the role, of course, but uh, I did work out the mathematics. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at uh, this kind of percentage on... on I've, I've seen some good medallion like the Grim Reaper as a high roll. It does about you know six percent on the uh, on my Iron Man, so you know, six or seven percent on my Iron Man. So, you know, I medallion actually plays a really big part um, whether you know, you may not have noticed that, and and usually from what I've observed, uh, those medallion that has both both the damage side as well as the crit side to it, uh, you know, it works quite well. Um, so yeah, so I thought just a quick video. I'm not sure whether it's quick or not by the time this video ends, but uh, yeah, I thought I I share some of the maths behind it, and uh, yeah, um, thank you thank you for watching, and uh, I'm a big Captain America fan right now, and uh, any questions or so on, please feel free to drop me a note. Bye.